Welcome back everybody once again to Unplayable. I am TJ the Obscure here with you feeling a bit better today than I was the last time that I saw you. But still getting over this Oh, this sickness. Um so this the plan for this episode is to head back into this area and go into the little bedrock maze and uh see what we can find because we still have like four wool that we need to retrieve. Oh my gosh, there's a, there's a fly in my room right now. It's going to drive me crazy. So we know that there's bad stuff in here. So we need to get in here and try to start lighting up things as quickly as possible, I think. Uh, nope, not good, not good, not good, not good. I, I took a wrong turn. I took a wrong turn. I took a wrong, wrong turn. Wrong, wrong turn, wrong, wrong turn. Okay. Um... Things are firing at me. I have blindness. Not good. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, also, if you... Um, yeah, I have slightly improved gear. I made a new set of armor with some Protection 2 on it. I had to get another anvil. I am completely out of iron. No, I have... I still have six pieces of iron left, actually. I ended up with, like, a whole stack of iron after grinding straight for a couple days. Um, so, yeah, I have a power four bow now. If I, that's the same pickaxe. Uh, or no, no, that's a new one. I was going to try to make an efficiency four one, but I didn't have enough efficiency books. That is the same sword, though. Well, that was interesting. We, um, we found lots of things. It's going to be very slow going. We're not going to be able to shut down all of the spawners. Although, now that I think about it, we sh we will be able to shut down some of them using half slabs. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be pretty rough, to say the least. I did bring glowstone and pistons, though. Um, Alright, I wonder... If we can maybe stop some of these guys from spawning. I was wondering when we were going to get into the crazy bedrock maze full of bad guys thing, which we are currently at now. The illusioners are going to make our job really, really challenging. And we need to try to, try to stay out of range of stuff. Huh. Clearly, we can't make a run for it. We just saw that the Vindicator guys are, you know, doing four or five hearts to us. So we would be two shot in an instant. Even with the shield that we have, I grabbed our Mending and Breaking Shield. Even with that, I don't think we would be very successful. Um... Are you guys actually right here? Where are you? I think you're on the other side of the wall, right? Um... Alright, more and more of them keep spawning, man. I apparently hit a... He's doing some decent damage to us, so let's block off. Uh, okay, got him. Fantastic. So, yeah, what do we want to do here? I could go back and retrieve my lava bucket. I think I left it in the chest down by purple wool, which is not good. We're going to run out of arrows here very, very fast, too. So, part of the problem, of course, is that we still have all these guys spawning. So, we don't really have options. I guess you're not really there, are you? Are you on the other side of the wall? Is that where you are? I'm so confused, you guys. Right. Nope. Nope. Get out of there. Uh, okay, is lava going to help us? 
It's gonna help us with everything but the blaze. And the witches. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Or we can try pistons. And since I have the pistons here with me already, I think we're gonna go with that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a lever. And let's start trying to make some progress in here, shall we? And these silverfish, whatever they are, they're hitting, you know, four or five hearts of damage. It's kind of... I mean, not, not four or five hearts of damage. They're doing about two hearts of damage. But that's still kind of... Kind of crazy, if you ask me. Alright, um... Can we start to secure... All of this? So that things stop spawning in our home. It's so loud, you guys. So very loud. Uh, I don't think that's going to stop the... Or does it? I think it does stop the silver fishes, actually. I may need to turn down game sounds so that we can hear it properly. But, yeah. Is that what I want to do? I think so. I can't see anything. Hey. Can I get a block down? Oh, I did get a block down. Okay, well, fantastic. Oh, where's my lever at? There's too many of you guys in here. Gosh dang it. Too many of you. There we go. And say so the spiders are going to be able to get through. I think that that does it, but I need to be able to see. Um, if there's anything in here, it's just a bunch of silver fishies. It looks like. All right, we're gonna have to back up or else we're gonna die to silverfish, which is not something you wanna have happen. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, we're really gonna need to back up then. And they're kinda fast too. Can I, what if I go down one? Thankfully we're not gonna trigger any by doing this. All right, I'm hoping that that will, oh no, no, water source, oh thank you, yes, yes please. Okay, I think we're okay. Hey, how are you guys still in here, huh? I guess I didn't quite get that final piston all the way back, is my guess. Uh, the Illusioner guys are really driving me insane. And... I think it's going to make sense to go with the lava. To be honest, simply because there are so many mobs. And, uh... Oh, no, get out of there, guy. Yeah, there are so many. It should kill the silver fishies. It should, it should take care of a lot of them. Is my hope, at least. But I don't want to quite give up yet. So let's see if we can make any more progress here. I think the water was not a terrible idea because it is going to push things back. It's going to damage the blaze. Oh, uh, not quite. I can't see. I don't know which way we want to go, but since we already started to make some progress this way, I think that's going to be our best, best bet.
All right, well, we are here. Let's do our pistons again. Although, honestly, I think I could safely... Um... Can I place this? No. So we're gonna have to open this one. Oh, don't die, guy. Don't die. Alright, we okay? There's so much stuff over there, you guys. I think they're maybe dying to suffocation damage. I just saw something die. Oh, what do, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, that's a good noise, right? I think so. I think that means that we have reached the end there. Hey, are you just still spawning in that one little tiny space right there? Is that what's going on here? I feel like you must be spawning in the corners, right? It's so... Okay, I gotta turn the um, sounds down, you guys. Uh, hopefully that's a little more tolerable for everybody. Oh, I can't see anything, nor can I place blocks, it would seem. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna get ourselves killed. I'm going to get the lava, gosh dang it. I tried my best. There's simply too much stuff in there to really make much progress, and we're going through our armor way too fast. So let's go get some lava. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, okay, we're safe. We're safe. You know, whenever we did purple, um, Gab said that I sh I should come back and clear it out. Let's see if maybe we could hear some mobs. Because I'm thinking that, that that bedrock tunnel has to connect somewhere down here, right? Unless there's an entrance over by the giant somewhere that I didn't find. That's the only other thing that I can think of. Um, but he did he did be, make sure to emphasize that we need to come back down here and clear out the rest of the purple. Oh great, what did I do with my lava, you guys? I can't find it. What did we do after purple? We Didn't we go after black at that point? Did I lose it? Did I leave it in one of the chests in here, maybe? Okay, well, we got a big chunk of spawners there, so that's good. Um... I don't, I don't see anything, you guys. I'll take that. But maybe we should try to pacify the rest of the room here. And also, I'm not seeing my bucket of lava. What has happened to my bucket of lava? We must have killed them. Uh, huh. Like, it doesn't, like, go up or something, does it? Alright, almost done with this room. Have the whole thing cleared out. Stop going up so I can hit you properly. Uh, 
Euh, voilà. Et voilà. No blindness, please. None of the blindness. Oh, you gave me the blindness. Evil, evil guy. Oh, he's still alive. I thought for sure we had killed him. Okay, can we target him from over here? I'm not even sure why I'm doing this, because I don't see anything. That would indicate that there's more to this room. Wait. What is that? Oops. Sorry about that, you guys had to cough there. Yeah, no, there's cobble right here, though. We definitely did not place that. And I don't think there's cobble anywhere else in the room, so... Clearly that cobble means something. Importante. Can we not reach that? Okay. Uh, like a so. Alright, um, bum, 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 bum. we got shield, protection. You know, I guess it's possible that, that we entered the dungeon the way that we were supposed to enter it, and that those tunnels actually take us to Red Bull. That is certainly a possibility. At this point, all I really want to know is where the heck my lava is, though. Like, I know that I brought it to um, to potentially use in here. I guess maybe it's back in my base and I just put it in a random chest and forgot about it. Well, let's see what, what this path is all about, shall we? Let's zoom in. Yep, okay, it is indeed a path. That's pretty well hidden, man. Although, you do have the purple there. But you gotta understand that in a lot of maps like these, people are, you know, there's so much going on that... Okay, yeah, we're definitely nearby all the laggy stuff. Unless those are the mobs that I spawned earlier, that's a possibility too. Uh, this room kind of scares me. Okay, we do have... Bedrock down below, there's observer blocks. I don't think we really need the blaze spawner for anything, so let's go ahead and take it out. This actually looks like a proper intersection. Which is cool. Do we have any secrets? In the intersection? No! How can you make an intersection like this and then not have any secrets? Huh? The observers are kind of freaking me out. That's green. Although that's terrifying because it's just... It's just the box. And there's our giant wall of vexes. All right, we have sort of done a room like this before. We can see the wool box on the other side, too. Uh, yeah, I had to nerf it a bit. You could probably even make it smaller <laughs> than this, and it would still have basically the same effect, because there's only so many spawners that you can set off at once, right? Let's, um... And I know that we've set off some near the top, too. I don't want to get too close. I mean, we're going to set it off, but I want to see exactly how close. Okay. So we can get, I mean, I forget how, to, how I did it previously in Cooley's map. I think I just slowly tunneled is what I did. So we'll probably try something similar here. Oh, man, I just cannot stop coughing, you guys. 
Oh, the vexes stop slowing down my computer. Okay, then we have the wooded area over here. It says this is probably the hardest area in the map. Those of you who played Infernal Sky 2 know what's up. Hint, you have to burn the wood. Um, I don't know if I've ever played Infernal Sky 2. I don't want to open that chest either because it's trapped. Uh, I know I've played Nightmare Realms where you have the house that burns down on you, but I don't think I've played Infernal Realms. And you guys are purely decorative, yes? Okay, I guess we should probably see what this green wool is all about. I just hope it doesn't teleport us somewhere. Because I don't know if I'm quite prepared for that. My guess is it's going to be like the yellow wool where it's going to point us in another direction. Um, but... Oh, no, 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 Um, we can try to take him on right now. I don't feel very confident, though. Let's see here. I know we did this. We did this before. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. Whoa. Is that normal? I feel like that's not normal, right? The Wither 2 for 40 seconds? Um, that has to be custom. It's going to make this significantly more challenging. Does the Wither Tick do armor damage? I can't remember if it does or not. I know Fire Tick does. Um, huh. Whenever I did this, because Cooley did this as well with the Wither, and we kind of kind of took advantage of things. I think I had a stack of Bedrock, didn't I? In Cooley's map? I, I want to say I did, and that's how I was able to get the Wither. But this is, this is different. This is very, very different. Although this is kind of similar to what I remember doing where we um, abused his AI. Because for some reason he wants to float up. Here. Oh, alright. Sorry, you guys. I had to cough again. I think I think what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to make sure we have enough arrows. Maybe improve our sword slightly. Unfortunately, I can't get access to smite as far as I know. Make sure we have enough food. Make some more health potions. Because getting them down halfway is the easy part with the bow. It's the getting them with the melee that's going to be challenging. And I don't think we're quite prepared for that. Um, so let's get out of here. And I think it's probably time to end the video, even though we made very little progress. And we started off looking for lava, and now we found a wither. Hopefully he doesn't escape. I mean, technically there's enough room for the, him there, I think, to leave. But again, he wants to float up, and there's bedrock keeping him in, I, I think. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.